right, so I'm gonna give it some fresh oil. That's pretty black. I bet it ain't been, uh, it ain't been 700 miles since they changed the oil. Changes it for what the North Wilkesboro, and it's been to North Wilkesboro and back and uh, around town a little bit, and that's about it. I changed my plugs while ago. I had a couple of foul plugs, maybe four foul plugs, started popping a little bit. You know, you guys, it's got LS swaps and new rebuild engines going on the power tour. Uh, yeah, you ain't gonna have no fun. You gonna pull in and park and get out and eat and talk to other guys about the cars and kick back in the chair and look at everybody else's car to drive by. And Man, what fun is that gonna be? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my hood up, changing valve plugs, uh, adding transmission fluid, and oil, and stopping on the side of the road, and changing the valve plug, and I'm gonna have a whole lot of fun. Man, yeah, yeah. Hot engine, sticking your arms down there, pulling out the plug you think foul, only to find out it's a different one. That's fun. Well, I don't have an LS swap. Nothing to do but crank the car up and turn the air conditioner on and drive down the road. Yeah, boy, that would be bad. It sure would. I'm glad I got engine and fouls plugs and use the oil and man oh man, I don't know what happened. We got us some Rotella diesel. Tella. 15 dollars and 88 cents a gallon if you look at Walmart a gallon not five quarts a gallon Yeah. It had a short filter on it. I don't know if a short filter on here. I let the, got the longer style filter this time. You just have a little bit more filter in. Yeah, I changed some plugs in this thing. I had two or three fouls. Sorry, popping a little bit. And yeah, they look bad. So I changed the plugs. I went with a uh, with a hotter plug and set the gap a little wide. Supposedly that wider gaps on. Should have helped a little bit with the fouling. This thing had a couple of plug fouls on it when I first got it. Got the motor running and everything, and I, I had took the plug fouls out. I've got them somewhere. Got some plug fouls. I might have to run them on the power tour. I don't know. We'll see how it does. So 
think I need a radiator or support. Yep. I'm wanting to change this radiator. And I'm always worried about breaking these lines loose. Soak them down. I'm actually going to heat them up too. Soak them bigger the lights. I'm going to heat them up because I don't want them transmission lines right there twisting in two. They look fine. All back here. But we'll see. That one there might be getting a little bit thin. I just don't want to change them right now. Yeah, it's heat. Helps with rust. See that popping? It is what it is if it breaks, it breaks. Cause that's the only line range I had. Yep, there's my broke transmission line. You know, this radiator was a leaking. But, uh, but, it's the same radiator as in it. Well, I got it. Been sitting for 20 years. So you know what's going to happen on the power tour. I thought about just taking my radiator with me. But then I said, if I undo the transmission lines and they break, that I'll be on the hot rod power tool on the side of the road and fix all this mess. I can just loop my transmission lines and it won't cool it. But anyway, now I have time. I'm gonna look around. Flex fan somewhere around here in amongst all my jump. Uh, but I'm still on to probably wind up running an electric fan set up. So it seems like. People that have an electric fan, they eliminate their mechanical fan and pull the air through instead of pushing, using an electric fan on the outside and mechanical inside. It seemed like they had better luck pulling all the air. Hey, let's take a boat. About you guys voting or saying whether you think I'm gonna make it to the power tour or whether you think I'm gonna make it to the power tour. 
Vote on whether or not you think I'm going to have troubles or not. It's powerful. Major troubles. I mean, changing the spark plug is a big deal. She is coming unglued. Yeah, y'all think I'm going to make it without any major issues? Y'all think that I'm gonna have big trouble. What do y'all think? Boy, throwing this sand, I don't stick out, stick out like a sore thumb, you know what? All right, I had my original, oh, come with the cap. All right, I had my all original look. It's like it's been drugged out of a barn. And I gotta stick this ugly aluminum red right here. That just ain't right. It just ain't right. Yeah, it looks like she don't fit like we love. Make sure I can shroud. We'll see it about that in a minute. But. I think this was an eBay special here. I gotta get the right size battery. This is a 24 series. It's a little bit too narrow. My clamp won't work. I need to look it up. I kind of think it's a uh, 35 maybe. I don't know. I have to look and see. Okay, the, the shroud holes, the original holes are I'm not gonna work. But, uh, I mean, it's plastic. They're off a little bit. Because if I put them where they're supposed to be, it's hitting the fan. There's very little clearance. Actually, is there's very little clearance. Almost like the tire radiator needs to go down a half inch. I just drilled me uh, some new holes in my shroud. It's real close at the bottom, but uh, I had issues with that kind of screw in the bottom of that shroud anyway. But uh, we had our own there. And uh, like I say, it's still going to have me a uh, clutch fan. And hopefully, the clutch fan won't hit it down there. I went and dug through my stash. Found this. Clutch, clutch actually feel good. Maybe. We'll clean it up. See if it even fit. Maybe too big. Had to make a trip to Auto Zone. This uh, clutch fan will need uh, a stud kit. Yeah. So, the glass is laying around everywhere. That's right. It's gonna work a little better. Uh, I only got a stud kit. Uh, it's my fault. I pulled up the wrong number on the stud kit and told them what kit I wanted, and it was actually metric. So I had to go back and AutoZone or Advance didn't have it, but uh, Napa had my stud kit. But uh, that's kind of actually got just a little bit more clearance, I believe, than what the other fan did. Which ain't a lot. Now, luckily, when the motor torques, it'll pull that way, which it'll have 
more clearance pulling up. Anyway, I put my other nuts on there and the other bolts in here. But yeah, that clutch fan should work a lot better, uh, I think, uh, than what I had on it. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a lift back. I'm on just the valves. Got me some uh, valve cover gas coming. I'm going to take them off. I'm going to adjust the valves. See if that helps that click a little bit. And I got the uh, take hit uh, next week. That dual exhaust put on. I'm waiting for the thermostat to open. Yeah, it might open now. Yeah. tell you guys as soon as power tours over or whatever I gotta clean this garage out it's terrible it's an unbelievable mess I'm gonna do a serious cleaning come by here maybe I have yard too 